prove it to me so it's not just something that I saw on the internet. Let's see on the on the machine, let's see this even roll effect happen. Okay. Now, on a on a toe, on a center, and on a heel. Yeah, I gotta find the balls with the Oh the actual spun balls, yeah right. <laughs> Alright, so with the the thing I wanted Garen to show me, and he's back on the is that Iron ba Byron or what putting machine do you call that? <laughs> we, we call it three jack. <laughs> three jack, the putting machine. Yeah, we're ready. So here's one coming out of the center. Sounding cool. Yeah. So we're gonna do a center one. This is a toe. A toe and a heel. And Garen, usually this thing is off of uh, an electric magnet. Look at this. That, that would have hit it. I, when I release it, it either springs or something it doesn't. It's just really hard to do it this way. All right, so here comes our heel hit, which, uh, look at that. That's cool. So we'll go back to the live board, the do board, right? Board, right, roll board. Roll board, and you can see that the three can three parallel lines coming off the face. That's really cool. No dispersion. That's really cool. And if you look at down there from this angle, mm -hmm. so you had an idea in your mind because you had seen in some of your prototypes and stuff that less contact area. Oh no, pros would tell me. Oh okay. It's not go. I have to hit it harder. Well, oh, with, with your your with your right, my with right groups, yeah, it's like right groups. I even though it's a solid block of metal, I'm having to swing more. Right, yeah. because it's not okay. So yeah, so I just did something very simple to start with. Yeah. Is I increased the contact surface so that it would hit it harder where it's weaker. Mm -hmm. So that that worked. But my initial version of this, I made these grooves really wide, and they tapered so a lot. So there was a lot so more that, land. Super there was a lot thin. Land. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. no, they were wider. There were fewer of them. Oh, okay. So and so when I did my robot testing over here, yeah, uh, the balls were the balls were coming off and crossing. Oh, okay. And the outside yeah. balls were going further. So you had three balls. The, the center one went went this way. Then then the one that was hit off the toe went like that. The, the one hit yeah. the ones hit out here came across this way. Yeah, gotcha. It geared. It, it was gearing. Yeah. Uh, I didn't I didn't plan on that. Yeah. It just happened. So so I made another version where I tightened up that spacing. Yeah. I made it a little little narrower. Yeah. And they still crossed a little bit. Yeah. So then I got it down to here, mm -hmm. and they ended up in the same spot. And was there a certain distance? That it didn't you matter. Wanted, you wanted them. Oh, it didn't matter. Even well, at because a slower speed, okay, slower speed, it, it needs to gear less. Uh -huh. At a longer speed, it needs to gear more. So it progressively right. corrects itself. Because just thinking about it, you would think like, oh, is this putter calibrated to gear towards the middle only on a 25 foot putt? Right. But right. you're saying it'll do it on a six footer or a 35 footer. Yes, every and, every, and they'll crawl. Well, because it needs to gear less at a shorter distance because there's less percussion. Now, right. is the, this is like an off the wall question, but. Do you see this gear effect only in the like iron byron putting machine that is rigidly put into the in you know like well, it's, that's, it's that's, in there or that like is, human hands will deflect a little? Sure, I yeah. mean you have to test stuff with robots. Yeah, and you also yeah. have to spin the ball to find the equator. But that will right. check. Go. I use a high speed yeah. spinner, and, I, and yeah. the ball, then I get balls that are matched for their distance. Yeah. I go through like I'll find three balls out of a dozen oh, okay. that are actually good and the same. Yeah. They're very similar. Oh, so the balls are really oh, they're all yeah. over the place. Yeah. yeah. And so whenever you do testing, you've got to get rid of the variables. Yeah. Sure. Otherwise, your testing's bogus. You, yeah. you don't have any. You're not dealing with a with a with a uh, consistent apples to apples, yeah. apples to apples type yeah. test exactly. So so I got three balls that would just bump into each other and stop at the same spot mm -hmm. on top of the same penny almost. Yeah. You know, just yeah. they were just perfect. And using a robot with a magnet release, no human hands, yeah. um, everything was precise. Yeah. Because of uh, how much you've worked with, with putting and getting into putting, would you recommend that it makes a big difference to spin your ball? You think that that... Sure, sure. Yeah, I recommend that to everybody. To, um, to get a line because it'll have a true, a true well, equator. This is true. a little off the topic. Yeah, this right. isn't about even robot. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. This is what I learned from testing. Be better hey, let's just yeah. give everybody some good information, right? Yeah. I can take a ball that's yeah. been spun, and I can I can kick it to the side and put it like this, and hit it right in the middle of the putter like I've been doing, and yeah. it'll it'll go two to three inches off the side. Even on a robot. On a robot. A well, well, robot shows you yeah. that it's good that, that when you hit that ball again, and you move the line, it goes offline a little bit. Well, this is something we were talking about because um, a lot of times, 
even really great uh, uh, putters on tour and, and other things, they'll, they'll, hit, they'll be hitting their putts out on the course and they'll, uh, let's say they're blocking it all day. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're like, what am I doing? And they'll go adjust their stroke or adjust their stance or, or make radical changes when it might have just been a very slight off hit. Exactly, right? okay, so yeah. very good point. And, and, and sometimes people fix things that don't need to be fixed. Well, we always do that. Yeah, right. Okay, because it's never- And we go to the extreme. Or somebody yeah, hits right. the green or whatever. But, yeah. but what, it, what it sometimes it is, is that you're not hitting the center of the face and you're getting that miss hit that's going offline. You'll see, uh, you remember, you've probably seen Tiger Woods on, on uh, yeah, before tournaments, yep. where he's got two tees on the ground mm -hmm. and he's got a putter and he's putting between those two tees. So Trying to get it through that gate, there's almost the zero room. The gate drill is like yeah. zero room, yeah. really close, and he's hitting it right in the sweet spot every time. Yeah. That's important. He knows that that's important. It's just, you know, it's, he's yeah. got a pretty good record. So, yeah. um, but that's exactly right. That's what that's all about. And very often, guys will miss a putt and they'll, and they'll push it and they'll think that they pushed it, but they actually hit it off center toward the toe. Well, this is something that we're gonna do because we're gonna, we're gonna get into fitting me for an even more putter, which is, I'm super excited about. And we're also gonna, I know that uh, Garen was saying that a lot of people, myself included, because as, as you guys know, I always say I'm a good putter. Um, a lot of people think like, well, this is cool for like 10 to 30 handicapper who is, you know, all over the face. But like, I hit the ball out of the center pretty good. This is technology that's really not gonna help me that much. Okay, so to the point of why, yeah. why is this important? Mm -hmm. Okay, so all of a sudden, you start using this technology. Yeah. And you start making more putts because that miss hit kept on the line that you aimed it. You yeah. know, when, when you were aiming before and everything was right and you hit it a little off center and it didn't go in, you went, what's wrong? Yeah. Well, now that ball will go in the hole. Yeah. So. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff, Garen, right now because he's had tour players come in here and say, "Oh, I don't have a problem missing the center of the face." Well, he's got a test to see if I can actually hit the center of the face or if this would okay. help me. So we fun to do that. All right. We're gonna do this center face test. If you you can, you guys can probably hear. There's some noise behind us. This place is like super active because they've been like slam sending out putters to people. Excuse that. And then, uh, all right, so let's, let's see. So what is this uh, thing we have here? All right, this is my little test to show, show how difficult it is to hit the ball okay. in the sweet spot. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna give you all this room here. You got, you got this spot in the middle here. So all this room. You, okay. It's a quarter of an inch. Yeah, uh-huh. It's a quarter of an inch of, of room. Yeah. Okay, there's a quarter of an inch right there. Gotcha. And so we're gonna try to hit the ball right there. And you're saying, any ball struck outside this area will have some distance oh, effect. You'll see some less distance. You'll see. Okay. So this is just this is just you're just trying to hit the center. Yep. You got a, you have a quarter of an inch, so you just try to hit the center. Okay, that's one. Okay, there's another one. So this this is indicating that you're hitting this one. Mm -hmm. The inside. There you go. You got it. So it can be done. It can be done. You did it again. Very good. Oh, Grover did it. This thing is unforgiving. Wow. Seven balls and two of them I actually hit in what would be the sweet spot. The sweet spot, yep. And it's not just me. Garen's had tour pros come in here. Guys who like only you know, make their money on tour. And how many out of 10 can they get? Usually two. Two, all right, so that's positive for me, but it's also illuminating for, so even those ones that, because I would have, if I didn't have those magnets on there, I would have thought that I hit all of those right out of the center. Right, yeah. so a quarter of an inch is about four, is three to four inches off center, mm -hmm. and about a foot short. On nine, a 25 footer. On a 25 footer, yeah. yeah. On top of the balls not being spun or being perfect, you got all these things going against you. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to do. You got to get one thing right. Yep. And you want that one thing to be a very um, uh, consistent impact off the face of the putter and have the ball go the same distance and go to the same spot. So you don't yep. get that. You don't get that off center hit. You. So at least you got that yep. solved. So when we have, we're swinging at a certain miles per hour. 
but when the ball strikes the putter face, we're getting the same energy transfer on these variable on, on things. On center and off center hip. 